miscellaneous means remaining small small petty expenses cash books are cash receipt are recorded debit said cash in hand is your opening balance all the cash receipts and cash payment are considered in your simple cash book any purchases comes it is a payment any sales happens it is a receipt hello everyone this is your other sir lecturing with yashram first grade college the temple of excellence so we are in the session 12 of your topic called accounting now in the accounting we are in unit 1 our chapter 1 as i told you still we are doing accountancy now once if you done with your cash book topic then we will go for your final accounts if you done with final accounts means your syllabus completed for chapter 1 as i told you your syllabus is vast but it is not tough it is easy now we'll go for this so what is your agenda for the day agenda for the day it is very simple this will be your concept as well as problems on cash book first we will understand what is cash book later we will come for the problem on cash book now meaning of cash book before that i'll give you simple example for this what is cash book like you have given you 5000 rupees you have given you how much 5000 rupees now maybe you are plan for some picnic or from excursion trip now in this you have plan for trip and the price you have taken from your parent it is 5000 the amount you have taken from your parent is 5000 now out of 5000 you are supposed to pay your traveling expenses you are supposed to pay your parking charges your food expenses as well as your shopping keeping everything so you have to plan in 5000 now the 5000 we call it as receipt the 5000 we call it as receipt now we'll come for your expenditure which are your expenditure out of 5000 you have received out of this you have paid 1000 for traveling now for food you have spent 500 for traveling you have spent 1000 and for food you have spent rupees 5 Hundred now, later, later after food for shopping you have spent around two thousand. For shopping you spent two thousand. Now, remaining miscellaneous things like parking charges or some entry fees or some other your phone mobile bill or some other small small petty expenses it comes around five hundred. these are we call it as miscellaneous miscellaneous means remaining small small petty expenses now add everything you will get 1000 plus 500 1500 plus 2000 3500 plus 500 it is 4000 now this is 4000 now you got 4000 is your expenditure what is your income you collected 5000 from your parent and your expenditure you made it is 4000 now total this so your income and expenditure your income is 5000 your expenditure is 4000 what is the balance you left out very simple write on this 5000 both the sides why we are writing 5000 both the side because 5000 is the higher value the higher value should be written both the sides now from 5000 if you minus 4000 you will get 1000 so what is this this is called as your closing cash balance now opening cash balance was 5000 at the end at the end the closing cash balance is 1000 why because 
out of five you have spent four thousand you are left out with only one thousand that is called your closing cash balance this is called as simple cash book we will not consider any discount column we will not consider any check or bank transfer we will consider purely cash we will consider purely cash this is called your simple cash book hope you understood now so just you take a screenshot if you want because you have example along with meaning now so this is all about your cash book just i'll explain you cash book is used to record all the cash receipt and cash payment all the cash receipts and cash payment are considered in your simple cash book now this book enables businessman to know the balance of cash in hand the bank at any point any point if you do this cash book you will find out you will get to know what is your cash balance now it also gives information about the daily receipt payment and closing cash balance every day if you prepare cash book you will get see what is your receipt 5000 what is your payment it is 4000 what is your closing balance 1000 you will get to know what is your receipt what is your payment as well as what is your closing balance now so these are the informations we have for your cash book now features of cash book this is very important why because for five marks you can expect this question now in this cash receipt are recorded in the debit side of cash book where we record your cash book cash books are cash receipt are recorded debit side as i told you what is your debit your left side being a commerce student we are not supposed to say left or right your debit is this one credit is this one now all the receipts will come under like this is your column like this is your particular and amount particular and amount this is received this is payment so we call it as debit side and we call it as credit side debit side is a receipt and credit side we call it as payment any doubt no doubt now cash received are recorded in the debit side of cash book and cash payments are recorded in the credit side of cash book debit as well as credit now it starts with cash or bank balance in the beginning so we are not doing double column we are doing single column see you have three types one is single column double column and triple column single column means only cash double column means cash and bank column triple column means cash bank and discount column this is called single double tri and triple column now what we are doing that is called simple or single column cash book now in this it starts with cash and bank balance in the beginning now we don't consider bank balance why because we are doing simple column but if you go for features of cash book you should remember the cash and bank opening balance we will write now it ends with cash or bank balance as i told you in our example the 5000 was opening balance and 1000 was closing balance means opening cash balance and closing cash balance now it serves the purpose of both journal as well as ledger account you need not to prepare your journal entry you need not to prepare your ledger account why because both is completed here whatever the disadvantages or limitations we have in those we can complete in this 
we can fulfill or overcome in this cash book. Now, it gives information about daily receipt and payment. Every day, whatever receipt you collect, every day, whatever payments you make. So everything you will get to know in this particular information. Now, closing cash and bank balance at the end of each day. Every day you will get to know what is your closing cash balance and what is your closing bank balance. Now, now we'll go with your types. As I told you, in your cash book, we have three types. Now, those are first one, single column, double column, as well as your triple column cash book. Now, single column cash book and double column cash book, as I told you, in single column, you will get only cash. Double column, you will get cash with bank. Triple column, you will get cash, bank, and your discount. Cash, bank, and discount, you will get in triple column cash book. Now, so these are the information. Along with this, you have petty cash book also. What is petty cash book? I'll give you a simple example. Now, your salary is 10,000. What you will do out of 10,000, 2,000 you'll pay your rent, 2,000 your food expenses, everything around seven to 8,000 you will spend. Now, out of 10,000, 7,000 you have spent. Now, those 7,000 you have spent, we write it in your simple column cash book. Now, how much left? 3,000 left. Out of 3,000, 2,000 you deposit in bank for emergency purpose. Now, how much left? Out of 10, 7 you have spent, 3,000 left. Out of 3,000, 2,000 you have deposited in bank. Still, you have 1,000. What you will do with that 1,000? You will keep it in your pocket. Now, what you will do in that 1,000? Small, small expenses. Small expenses, we call it as petty expenses. Now, small petty expenses like you had coffee or tea. You bought some small chocolates. You bought some snacks or you spent for small, your bus charge, 5 rupees, 10 rupees, 15. You spent for your auto expenses. You bought one 5 rupee pen. These are called as petty expenses. Now, in the petty cash book, we will record all those petty expenses. How much you spend for stationery? How much you spend for transportation? How much you spend for postage and telegram? How much you spend for some minor expenses? So these are called as petty cash book. Hope you understood. These are the types we have in cash book. Now, so what is the format of your simple cash book? Very simple it is. As the name says, the problem also simple. Now, you have date, receipt, LF, amount. So your column is only this much. This is for receipt. Date, it is compulsory. Receipt as well as LF as well as amount. Along with this, you have again date, LF amount instead of receipt, you have payment. Now, very simple. You are supposed to remember only two things. One is receipt and the one is payment. Receipt always debit side and payment always on credit side. Now, the common things are date LF amount, date LF amount. This is your format. Please take a screenshot and as write down, we'll go for a problem. Now, we'll go for your problem number one. Your problem number one, enter the following transaction in simple cash book, RS single column cash book for the month of December 2017 and balance the same. They have given information, just you need to find out whether it is a receipt or whether it is a payment. Now, you should know that it is a receipt or payment. Now. In this, cash in hand. Remember, 
this is your opening balance this is your what opening balance now cash in hand is your opening balance now cash received from vishnu we call it as receipt purchase goods from vishnu for cash when you purchase goods you will receive cash or you will pay cash remember while doing cash book you should concentrate on cash and whatever entries it is given all it is your entries only just assume that you are maintaining your own account so that it is easy to do don't consider never consider that you are doing account of somebody else whatever information it is given just assume that it is all yours now cash in hand means you have 24000 in your hand like that you have to go now in this first one cash in hand it is 24000 this is your opening balance now cash received from vishnu how much you received you have received 6000 it is what for you it is a receipt now purchase goods from vishnu for cash see you have purchased means what you have to do you have to pay cash now your purchasing means you have to pay cash now this is called as payment remember any purchases comes it is a payment any sales happens it is a receipt next paid insurance payment sold goods for cash it is a receipt sold means what you are collecting money now paid rent payment purchase stationery payment received commission receipt paid salary payment paid to postage it is a payment so simple to understand paid means payment received means receipt sales means receipt purchase means payment clear yes so this is your problem very simple whatever i have mentioned you as receipt we write it in receipt side whatever i have mentioned you as payment we write it in payment column now the heading will, will be simple column cash book or single column cash book so this side you should write it as debit and this side you should write it as credit clear yes in this we have written date particular amount in case of particular we have used called receipt as well as payment now we'll go one by one what is your opening balance the opening balance is 24000 see 24000 the date is 1 december first december it is two balance brought down remember the opening balance we call it as balance brought down the closing balance we call it as the balance carry down now balance brought down it is 24000 done next cash received from vishnu now cash received means it is a receipt 6000 see vishnu it is 6000 next purchase means payment it is 4000 it is a payment we have considered 4000 next next it is a paid insurance 2000 see we have taken paid insurance it is 2000 next it is sold goods to cash sold means what you are collecting money so it is 8000 it is 8 thousand now next one paid rent 500 paid means it comes on a where payment side now rent it is 500 next paid rent purchase of stationery it is 4500 see the stationery it is 4000 find it simple one write on the date write on the well particular column like your payment for what purpose you have paid and what purpose you have received now amount you have written next purchase stationery is over received commission received commission is received a payment 
it is a receipt. Now, received commission, it is 1000. Now, received commission, it is 1000. Again, I'll go back. Next, paid salary 2000, paid postage 400. Now, paid salary and paid postage. Now, salary it is 2000, postage it is 200. Up to this, any doubt? See, whatever given in the question, all the receipt we have written debit side, all the payment we have written credit side. Any doubt in this? Hopefully, there is no doubt. Now, in this, just check which side is more. Now, how to find out your receipt is more or your payment is more? In this, your receipt 24 plus 6, 30, plus 8, 38, plus 1, 39,000. How much you got? You got 39,000. Now, total this, how much you will get? 4 plus 2, 6,000, plus 500, 6,500, plus 7,000 and 11,000, plus 2, 13,000. Plus 400, 13,400. Now, how much it is? 13. Whatever I am writing in blue color, just for reference. In exam, we will not write all those things. So, whatever it is presented here, that much only we write. Your problem will be like this. Now, so just for the understanding purpose, I am writing the total. Now, now you tell me 39,000 is high or 13,400 is high, which is greater. Now, as per this, 39,000 is a greater. What you should do now? You should write 39,000 as total and 39,000 as total. Clear? Up to this, any doubt? No doubt. Now, you may say that, sir, how come you got 25,600? Simple. Now, which side is more? Your debit side is more. That is 39,000. Now, you write 39,000 and you write 39,000. Now, from 39,000, you minus 13,400. How we did in the example, I'll go back. See, your receipt is 5,000, payment is 4,000, which is higher, 5,000. Write 5,000 both the sides. From 5,000, you minus 4,000, you will get 1000. Similarly, now from 39,000, you minus 13,400. Now, how much you will get? 25,600. I'll show you the working note. From 39,000 minus 13,400, you will get around 25. 600. So, hope you understood. You will get around 25, 600. This is zero. Yeah. Now, how much you got balance? 25, 400. What you have to do in cash book? The balance you have to show it here. Two balance brought down for the next month. Like today at night, you have 1000 rupees. Means for tomorrow morning, it will be what? Opening balance for today it is 1000 what closing for today the 1000 is closing for tomorrow that 1000 is opening now so what is your answer 25600 is your answer any doubt no doubt so I'll show you the slides so you can take a screenshot so this is your question so this is your answer Hope you understood. We have taken all the receipt and all payments. Now, we'll go for the last problem for the day for the session. Now, as per this, this is your problem number two. It is a small problem and your answer also, it is the smallest one. Now, in this, enter the following transaction in simple cash book. What you should write? The heading must be simple cash book now in this you have to mention this is as debit and this one as credit now again i'll go back in this enter the following transaction in simple 
cash book as per this cash in hand it is 12000 what do you mean by cash in hand cash in hand it is nothing but the opening balance of cash now this is done next cash received from ram received means what receipt your opening balance always you should write under receipt column if it is a closing balance then we should if it is a negative balance then we should write it under payment side it is a receipt or it is a positive value so we take it in receipt side now cash received from ram it is a receipt then purchase goods from murli now if you are purchasing goods means you will receive cash or you will pay cash yes you will pay cash just take an example you are purchasing a pen so you will receive money or you will pay money you will pay always for purchases consider it is a payment now so this is payment sold goods for cash it is a receipt paid salary it is a payment easiest one if you are receiving it is a receipt if you are paying we call it as payment easy as well as you can easily you can understand now so we have total one two three four five smallest one so that you will understand better now we'll start with opening balance cash in hand see your opening balance we have written on 1 6 2018 balance brought down next receipt always comes under debit side ram it is amount is what 4000 ram it is 4000 next purchase means it is a payment payment side we should write 6000 see by purchases 6000 and always remember your debit side we call it as 2 and your credit side we call it as buy again i'll repeat your debit side we call it as 2 and your credit side we call it as buy now in this your purchases you will get around 6000 it is done next sold goods for cash it is 9000 if you are selling means you are receiving money or paying you are receiving how much you are receiving you are receiving 9000 it is 9000 you are receiving 9000 now after this paid salary 3000 you are receiving salary or paying salary you are paying salary how much you are paying you are paying it is 3000 now so 3000 you are paid now this is also done now what i told you what is the logic now you have to add we don't know that is 16000 remember now add this thing 12 plus 4 16000 plus 9 it is 25000 now if you add these two you will get 9000 now in this 25000 is more or 9000 is more which one is higher in this 25000 is higher now 25000 higher means what we should do higher value should be written both the sides now write down 25000 here also 25000 here also both the sides you should write 25000 now from 25,000, you minus these two. How much there is? 9,000. So, I'll write it here. 25,000 minus 9,000. You will get around 16,000. This 16,000, call it as balance carried on. While writing debit set, always remember you should write two. While writing credit set, always you should rem remember and write it is buy. Now, so 25,000 minus 9,000, it is 16,000. Now, we write 16,000, the same answer, you will write it as two balance brought down, it is 16,000. Hope you understood. This is called your simple cash book. So, I'll go back, you can take a screenshot. This is your problem number two. 
the solution part for your problem number two. Yes, this is all about your today's session. We did two problems on cash book. Now, you understood what is simple cash book or single column cash book. Now, under simple or single column cash book, you understood how to do your single column cash book. Now, how to find out whether it is a receipt or whether it is a payment. Each and everything you understood. Thank you.